YouTube, check it out. So I just bought this house, closed on Thursday. Today is Sunday. We got most of our stuff moved. But before we start putting stuff in this master closet, what I want to do is, you see how these racks are kind of loose, not too sturdy in the wall. This anchor right here looks like it's pulling out. This one's loose. I'm going to show you how to fix this and make sure that this thing never comes off the wall. Because the rental we were just in, my wife hung up all her clothes on the shelf, came falling down, big mess, I had to redo everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down, I'll show you how to take it down, and then I'm going to put wall anchors in there, I'm going to paint while I've got the shelves down, and uh, I'll show you how to make sure this thing never comes down. So the first thing I'm going to do is go by removing these struts. So this is one of those ones where it's just like, kind of like a nail head going into it. So I'm just going to take a flat blade screwdriver and pry it up. Super easy. Just pull the nail out. I'll show you the next one up close. So let's move the camera. So here we are, flat bladed screwdriver. Just give it a little wiggle and it'll start to come out. And then just pull it up like that. From there you can just pull it out with your hand. Super simple. And then from there just go ahead and pull it out of the wall. Okay, so go ahead and remove your struts, make sure you've got all those out of the way. Also make sure there's nothing on the shelf. For example, I have my screwdriver sitting here. Once you've got all your struts removed, removing the shelf itself is pretty easy. You just kind of pivot it up and then give it a good little pull upwards. straightforward process if it has a screw head in it pull the screw out if it's got the nail business again just give it a little pry I'll show you an example so here's an example of one of these again just take your flat blade screwdriver kind of wiggle it in between there get the nail started out and pull the nail out and then just pull this right out of the wall if it has a screw head on it Again, all you do is take your Phillips head screwdriver and back that out. You can see this one's even broken. So, kind of pointless, not really doing anything. And that was going right into the drywall. I don't know what they thought that was doing. But go ahead and clear all these things out of the way. And then you're going to remove this business as well. You see there's the nail on one side, the screw on the other. Just go ahead and remove those also. Get a nice flat wall. Okay, the next step, you've got everything removed. Is you're going to put some of these in those holes. It says each one of these holds up to 75 pounds, as you can see on the packaging. And they are going to hold a whole lot better than the stuff that was there. These are actually pretty easy to use. If you take one out of the package, you can see what it looks like. It's just got a screw head there, and it's actually self-tapping. There's already a bit of a hole there, so really you're only gonna have to thread it in this part. So you just take your screwdriver, stick it right in the end like that, rotate clockwise while pushing until this goes flush with the wall. I'll demonstrate on this hole right here, since it's right there in front of the camera, and I'll do the rest. So there you go, just like that, it's in all the rest of the holes. So from here, I've got these. Uh, these are different than what came out of the wall because what came out of the wall had this business on the back of it. You don't want this to be here. If you wanted to be really frugal, you could take a hacksaw or something and cut these right off the back. They're the same thing. It's just missing the back, you know, this little part that goes on the wall. But you want to use this with the screws that were provided 
with your drywall anchors and go ahead and start putting these back in place. Just like this. So basically you just take the screw that you had, this, stick it right through there, and then put it in your drywall anchor that you just put in a wall. And if you had an electric screwdriver and or drill, this would be a lot faster and easier. But I don't know where mine is, I just moved yesterday. Everything's all packed up. But you get the idea. Now these were quite a bit more expensive. I think they were about four or five dollars for a pack of two. I have seven that I'm gonna have to deal with. So I'm just gonna go out in the garage with a hacksaw and cut this back, or these uh, little parts that go into the wall right off. That way it'll sit flush against the wall. Okay, from here it's pretty easy. Just take your section, lift it up into position, see where it fits on your clips and clip it into place. do the same thing over on this side. And then the final piece of the puzzle is to put your struts back in place. Basically what you do is you take you take this little groove here and put it where you've got one of your uh, your bars that go towards the back. Put your screw in and tighten it in. And you'll do that for the remainder of any struts that you may have. going down the remainder of your shelf. Now the final result, you got yourself a nice sturdy shelf that's going to remain in position, nice and strong. You're not going to have to worry about those pulling out. Supposedly these things hold 75 pounds each. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. That's quite a lot of weight. I don't think this is going anywhere. So I thank you very much for you two for watching. I hope this video helps you out. Make sure you check out my channel, subscribe, and hit the like button as well. Thank you.